everyone, today I'm going to be talking about these four little tools from Veritas. Veritas is a sub-brand of the Canadian-based company Lee Valley, and Veritas is known for very high-quality hand tools and accessories. These ones are all made out of uh, well-machined aluminum, and they're all made in Canada. So uh, very high quality, really nice finish on all of these, and uh, tools that are definitely built to last. So let's take a look at these, and I'm going to talk through each of them and explain a little bit about what they are and how I use them. So first of all, let's take a look at probably the most used out of all these tools, and that's this little one and a half inch square. So I think they call it the pocket square. Uh, you could carry it around with you everywhere you go. It definitely resembles its larger brother, the bigger squares. It's made out of uh, aluminum, made in Canada, and uh, it's something that I use a lot when I'm making jewelry boxes or marking out lines for hinges. Uh, one of the things that I do really like about it is uh, the, the two sides here. So this side is an eighth of an inch, and then this overhang over here is a quarter of an inch, which works out really well when you're laying out certain types of hinges. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a nice little pocket square. It sells for $11.50, and a tool that I don't use all the time, but when I do, I absolutely love having this little guy. So moving on, let's take a look at this little layout block. So this one happens to be an Imperial. So uh, you can get this in metric as well. And they're sold either individually for, I think around $10, or you can buy a three pack of them for uh, $24. And they're just a very simple layout block. So again, it's built or it's made out of aluminum. So it's not super heavy. Uh, so it's not something that you're gonna necessarily put down and then butt lumber up to. But what is great about it is it's a perfect one inch that way and then uh, three quarters of an inch that way half an inch quarter of an inch i think there's three eighths for the interior and uh, i think it gets down to an eighth of an inch for the thickness here and it does have nice little carve out um, that you can see so it, if you are putting this up against some fine lumber it's got that little channel so you can butt it right up and get um some some really nice markings so just to show you on a piece of sapili here so just a really nice tool it's got a little hole so you can put it on a keychain if you want uh i bought an individual one but it, there have been times where i wish that i bought the three pack so i could have one one in the truck uh for well i don't know if i'd ever need it in the truck but one in my downstairs workbench and probably a couple in the shop so a uh, really great tool um i have no need for the metric one i do work in imperial so yeah great little Layout block. So now moving along to, this is their drill, drill stop gauge. And uh, there are a few things that I like about this. So it makes it really easy to set uh, your drill bit depth. And it's, I think it's 110 degrees. So it can accommodate really wide bits uh, if you need to. And what I use it for, just to show you a little bit. Um, so you can either use it to set go this way set the depth with uh, collets and you can just measure that to where you want, move it up and then tighten it down. Or really what I use most of the time is tape. So I usually will do this, then tape the depth that I want, then I'm good to go. So just a very simple uh, depth gauge. So I think it goes to one and probably three and a quarter inches and up to 80 millimeters on the metric side so it gives you both imperial and metric measurements and this also is made in canada then the final tool that i'll be talking about here is the miter saddle and this is something that i never thought that i would really have much need for it is more expensive than the other so this is around 20 dollars, but it is a very precise tool that i've used on uh oh gosh probably a few dozen occasions to get perfect miters and uh from a marking perspective so what i'll do I'll hold it up to a piece of lumber like this, either mark it with a pencil or generally my marking knife, and just get a nice crisp line there. So whether I'm going to be hand sawing that or even just want to ease the edges before using a power saw. So it's a great way to mark up your materials. It is very sturdy, very comfortable to use. You can use it in a number of ways. And uh, yeah, just a really handy miter saddle to have around. Um, it's pretty close to fitting a perfect two by four, although you probably wouldn't use um, a precision tool like this when it comes to working with construction lumber, but you can. And yeah, really nice tool overall. So these are four little tools from Veritas. Again, sub-brand from Lee Valley. 
that uh, I don't use all the time, but when I'm working with the right materials or need to set the depth uh, for a drill bit, uh, these are my go-to tools. Thanks for watching.